Today we'll be giving a gameplay overview and review of the game, Iliad Heroes of Troy, designed by Angelo Nicolau and published by Escape Velocity Games. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode with To Die For Games. I'm Andy, the board gaming pinup girl. My fellow hosts are... Tracy, the gaming maven. Stefan, the game's teacher. Are you looking for a particular part of the video? Well, down below we've got timestamps so that you can find the part that you want to see. We always welcome your feedback and are happy to hear what you have to say. So, why not leave us a comment below? Also, consider clicking on that subscribe button so you'll be notified when we post future content. Iliad Heroes of Troy plays in about 30 to 45 minutes, is suggested for ages 12 and up, and accommodates two to four players. Iliad Heroes of Troy is now on Kickstarter, and so the copy we have is a prototype and not the finished product. We've got Iliad Heroes of Troy all set up and ready to go. So, let's get to it. Objective. Based on Homer's classic poem, players depict major characters, the Greeks, the Trojans, or the gods, and will use their traits to outmaneuver their opponents. So, Mandy, tell us, what's inside the box? Components. 30 character cards, two special cards, four player aids, 20 scoring tokens, five five-point tokens, and 15 one-point tokens, and the rule book. All right, now that we know what we're playing with, how do we set up? Stefan? Set up. Each player chooses a faction at random from the ones available based on the number of players. With two players, it would be Greek and Trojan. Shuffle all the cards, including the two special cards. Deal cards to each player, depending upon how many players there are, and they will then discard three back to the draw pile. Shuffle the draw pile. Draw the first card from the pile and place it face up in the center of the table. If it is one of the two special cards, draw another card and shuffle the special card back into the pile. The player who is the Greek faction goes first. Now that we're all set up, how do we play? Tracy? Gameplay. Players in turn order will follow these steps. Step one, play a card. The current player chooses a character card from their hand and places it on top of the play pile. This card now becomes the active card. Important. Special cards cannot be played to the pile. Step two, check faction. Check which faction is displayed on the active card. That faction now becomes the active faction and the player who plays that faction earns the points. Step three, score points. The player controlling the active faction will score one point for every matching trait on the top card that matches the card it was played on. Matching factions also score one point. Step four, use trait. The current player chooses one trait to invoke from the card they played. Note, a player may not play to draw cards if there are not enough cards in the draw pile. If a card requires a player to play another card, no trait action is taken for the second card. And step five, continue play. Play continues in clockwise order until a player has no more cards in their hand after a trait is used. So, how does the game end? Mandy? Game end. The game ends when one player no longer has any cards in hand at the end of the round. Any players with special cards will earn the benefits of the card. The player or team with the most points wins the round. The player to win two rounds wins. So that is how you play Iliad Heroes of Troy. So now we're ready to review Iliad Heroes of Troy. What'd you guys think? 
Well, Greek, Roman, you know, I like all that stuff. So <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as did I. Usually with card games, it's hit or miss for me. This one, I, I liked. Yeah. Surprisingly, I, and I have to say surprisingly, because that rarely happens. So moving on to art. art and theme. Yes. I love the art. Now, I think this falls under art. The little symbols, those need to be bigger. That's all oh, I gotta say. Yeah. The symbols to match, that's the whole point of the game, is to match the card mm -hmm. with the other card. And the symbols, I'm like, yeah, they were a bit squinty. Small. And I'm like, I, I got old eyes. At least they lined up. But they it was did. hard to differentiate right. the different symbols from each other. But yep. they, they did line up on the cards, which is good. That is a good point, because, you know, we'll leave those. There's a game I have in mind where stuff was not lining up. I found the artwork was good, but a little dark. Like, all mm -hmm. the tones, all the colors were it seemed very dark. And right. I found it, there wasn't a lot of contrast, right. um, which, minor, minor issue. It, it suits the book. Yeah, I get, yeah. I, I see what you're saying with yeah. the contrast. I mean, as someone as you know, I work with color. Tracy also works with color. I see where you're going with it, but yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I guess fit the theme of the yeah. game. But yeah, contrast would have been. A little bit. It would have been nice. I understand what you're saying. And one one other minor thing, uh, the trait labels on the cards. Uh, some of the colors that were chosen for those fonts, those bits of text were hard to make out against the background color. Right. Uh, so just maybe changing those up would be, uh, maybe make them a little more visible and easy to read. It may affect people with color blindness. Yes, absolutely. No, no, no. And the reason why we're pointing this out is because this is a prototype, this is a reminder, mm -hmm. uh, so it's not finalized. Uh, I guess we're kind of going into quality of components. I would have liked maybe to see this game, the cards in a tarot size. Potentially, um, yeah, I bigger don't know cards would have been nice. What you guys actually. think about that? It, it would have given more room for the iconography to be bigger. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And they could have made the text bigger. Yeah, and that's kind of where I was going. Text bigger. Uh, anytime I have to squint to see a game, it, it just you know mm -hmm. throws my interest a little bit. So. And you're not carrying a lot of cards in hand. No. So, so bigger is not bad. I don't know. And they have more work for more space for the artwork and the symbols. So, throwing it out there. <laughs> game mechanics. The game mechanics were neat. I like that you have to play to the card that's there and see right. what it does. But you also want to use a specific trait. So you're like, it's a trade off. Which do I want to do more? Right. That was really cool. And I like that you had three traits to choose from. So you had options yep. with each card of which trait you wanted to take. Mm -hmm. uh, and in some turns, you're actually giving points to your opponents, which is kind of interesting. You know, you mm -hmm. need to get the card out of your hand to trigger end game, but you're going to sacrifice a little bit of. Uh, uh, pointage by giving points to your opponents that way. So right, like for example, I was Greek and you were Trojan. Trojans. Trojans, right? So you want to try and match. You know, if you're Greek and try and match Greek card, and that also comes into play with the symbols. I had a really hard time giving points away. I know I had to get rid of those cards, but I didn't want to. I don't want to. Do you give know what I mean? Points. I didn't want to give the points, but in actuality, it actually worked out because some of the the actions I was able to take it allowed me to reduce points. For them. For them. So it actually worked out. So I'm basically agreeing with you that I like the fact that you could use traits and other actions to negate points, even mm -hmm. though it felt like you were giving points to your opponent. So I like that. I thought that was really neat. Similar games? Similar games. Well, traditional, I would say, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's any, with that, that unique matching, mm -hmm. I don't know if I can think of a game that does that. Obviously, it's a traditional card game right. where you're trying to like get the most points. So it would really match any card game in that respect. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't think of one off the top of my head. There's lots of other card games in the antiquities, but none that really are use similar mechanics that I can think of anyway off right. the top no. of my head. Um, I can't think of any similar games, really. Yeah, I'm trying to think of any now. And I'm thinking of card games, but none that have that matching. No, like I mean, in Star Realms, you have to match factions, but it's within your own board for you to use your own card which I guess kind of would be similar, which can attack a player. True. Otherwise, it's no good to you. Race for the Galaxy has that similar yeah. matching with iconography yeah. and the various types of cards you want to play down. So, just so like Race for the Galaxy kind of matching. Idea. Yep. So I think that would be good. So overall, I, I enjoyed this game. This is actually a game that I would probably pull out and play. It's a bit longer than some of the kind of small card games that we have. I, I was surprised at, at the length. And I think yeah. it works best with two or three players. I'm not sure if I like the team idea, but yeah. that people who like to play in teams might enjoy that part. That's not right. really my thing. But no, I think when we were playing it, you know, I played it at the three player a few times. I think that, that worked for me. Mm -hmm. So it was ideal. comfortable. I agree. Three players is probably an ideal player count. Um, so I, I, I enjoyed the game. I thought it was good. Uh, I also felt it was a little long for what the game was. It right. seemed like it didn't need to be quite as long as it was. So maybe reduce cards or do something else, I'm not sure. But 
um, I did enjoy it nevertheless. It didn't feel like it dragged out. Yeah. Uh, just, I was surprised that it took, you know, 45 minutes or something to get through the game. Yeah. I was surprised when I saw that actually. I was expecting 25, 30 minutes max. So when I said that, I was like, oh, okay. I guess reading the cards and, you know, maybe new to the game, but. The strategy, there's right. sort of a strategy. Yeah. This, like, Surprisingly, yeah. That's a card game. Yeah, which is good. So overall, I think uh, we're giving it a thumbs up. We enjoyed it. So definitely a good game. Just check it out. It's on Kickstarter now, so don't miss out. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.